I am so excited about this foundation. You guys, Hourglass just came out with a new Vanish foundation after the stick foundation, which is such a popular product. And today I am putting it to the test. Is it oil skin friendly? Is it worth your time and money? Right now I'm wearing it on the face and it looks beautiful, but how does it wear at the end of the day? So stick around until the end of the video where I will conduct a full eight hour wear test and give you guys my verdict. Team True Style. Remember to subscribe, comment down below if you have any questions, concerns, comments at all. I love you. And let's get to this Hourglass Foundation review, wear test, and verdict. Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. $56, beautiful packaging, 0.84 fluid ounces slash 25 milliliters. So an average size foundation. I have three shades here, honey, which is clearly not my shade. I am almost never ever a honey. Honey is usually on the cool side. I am gonna put that one aside. I also have golden and I have sand. I am actually sand in the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation, which by the way, Way is my absolute number one favorite stick foundation in the entire universe. This is a bomb product. It works on my oily skin type. So in today's video, I am trying to determine whether the liquid foundation version of the stick is worth the money and whether it is going to glide onto my oily skin, whether it's going to perfect it and whether it's going to last all night. So stay tuned until the wear test and find out. I've got this uh, Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. It is oil free, but I don't really use it too much, so I'm not super familiar with it. So instead, I think I'm just gonna use the Smashbox Minimize Pores Primer. I just used it in my previous video, and I loved it. It's a great primer. So I'm gonna just rub this into my skin and prep it for this new product. So since I have sand in the stick foundation, I am assuming I am also sand in the liquid foundation. This is what the color looks like on the back of my hand. Do a little comparison swatch. Oh my God, is that all that's left of my stick? Colors are fairly similar. So yeah, I'm hoping this will work. The way that they said that you're supposed to apply this foundation is to dot it onto your face. It looks just a pinch yellow, more yellow than the actual stick, but maybe that can be fixed. In the PR package, I also got this foundation brush, which is the same exact foundation brush that is meant for the stick. Mine is clearly very dirty because I travel with it all the time. This one is for the foundation. Wow, this is very, very pigmented, you guys. That one little dot was enough to cover this entire section. I'm a little shook. Wait, do people still say shook? What I'm also noticing immediately is that this foundation doesn't dry out super quickly. So there's definitely a little bit of play time. It can sit on your face before you actually maneuver it and blend it into to your skin. And now that I've blended it, I think the match is not bad. At first I was a little skeptical because the dots did look very saturated yellow. Now that I've blended it out, it's not really an issue. You guys, this foundation goes a long way. Hmm, it definitely dries very, very, very matte. So if you are a drier skin type, keep that in mind because it will probably emphasize any dry patches or any flakes that you may be experiencing. The thing with matte foundations though, and oily skin that some people don't get is that matte foundations sometimes tend to emphasize pores. Generally speaking, oily skin and enlarged pores tend to go hand in hand. So in this case, I am not seeing that dilemma. So that's a plus for me. I will say that although this is a full coverage foundation, the one pump is just not enough for me. I do have some freckles that you guys can still clearly see. Although it covered everything well, I imagine that if I was having a full on breakout, then I would probably need like a half pump more. So instead of dotting it onto my face, I'm just gonna dip this brush into this mixture and I'm gonna re-emphasize the areas that need a little bit more coverage, like under the eyes, Oh, see, got a little flake here. And I noticed it right away because the foundation definitely clung to it. One more tiny pump. Not that I need it, but I just want it because I'm used to just a little more coverage. And if you don't need all this coverage, I am certain that you could probably shear this foundation out with some oils. And when I say oils, I mean mixing oils that are meant for shearing out foundation. Yes, oily skin people can wear oil on the face. Okay, you guys, the coverage is beautiful. This $56 foundation is really 
pretty. Now that I've applied more than one pump, I can definitely see that the color is not an exact match to the sand vanish stick. It's just a little bit more yellow. Oh, I would even say that it leans a little orange, which you can always tell on my complexion. It's not an issue. We can work it out. We can blend it down and we can make it work. Or I'm just gonna have to zip up my hoodie so you don't judge me too harshly. If you're a normal skin type, you probably won't even need powder. What am I saying? All right, I'm gonna use this Laura Geller Spackle Concealer that I used in my previous video and I liked it. So today I'm just gonna dab some on, you know, just to brighten this area a little bit. By the way, it's a really nice concealer. Okay, so now for my setting powder, I do have my Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder, which I love. You guys have seen me using it before. It's a pretty pricey setting powder. I believe it's $60 if I'm not mistaken. So it's pricey, but it's a good product. I'm gonna use it today to lightly set this foundation just in the center of my face. And obviously I'm also going to set under my eyes because this concealer for sure needs to be set. I even just got sad that I spilled a little bit of this powder on my beauty blender case. I understand the value of these $60. I'm like literally picking up powder from my table. I'm so gross. Don't do that, Miriam. All right, I'm gonna lightly dust this powder over my forehead and notice how I'm just beating it on. I'm not swiping it. I don't wanna move that foundation. I wanna make sure that I get the most optimal wear for this wear test. I'm just gonna dip a little bit into my Charlotte Tilbury because that's what I always do. So I'm not gonna do anything different. I'm gonna do what I always do. This is my smoothing powder for those of you who are new to my channel and might not recognize this product. Let's observe this skin. Pretty. I would even say it looks flawless or as close to flawless as my skin could get in its current state. I am really, really liking this. Guess the real question is, how does this foundation wear? How does it wear on my oily skin and does it stand the test of an eight hour wear test? I will be back in eight hours with the verdict. You guys ready? I'm Okay guys, quick foundation check-in. It's been six hours since I've applied the Hourglass Vanish Foundation onto my face. I did blot one time only because I wanted to reapply some highlighter. Other than that, I did not touch, I did not repowder, and this is what the foundation is looking like at this point. We are heading out for the night, so I think we'll be back in about five to six hours, so I'm gonna give you guys another check-in, which will be the end of the video. But for now, looking good. I'm back for my final wear test one day after I initially filmed my review of the Hourglass Foundation. Of course, when I came home last night, I forgot to film my final wear test, but that's okay. I did it a day later, today. So here are the results of a 10 hour wear test. I think this foundation has proven itself. The skin looks uh Amazing. I would say this is probably one of the best long wearing foundations that I have ever tried. I put this one on at around 2 or 3 p.m. today and it is about 11 p.m. And this is what my face is looking like at this point. I haven't blotted, I haven't reapplied any powder. I can honestly say that the skin looks almost as good as when I first put it on. This hourglass foundation definitely stood the test of time. It is by far one of the most oily skin friendly foundations I've tried. Therefore, I'm going to give it a big fat thumbs up. I love it, I'm gonna continue wearing it and I recommend it to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review, this wear test and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Check out some of my other videos while you're here. I love you guys, deuces.